kids upstairs that like to play. We have an older lady that sits around every once in a while. Somebody spots her, we get a shot of her. Now, she's not talking about people. She is talking about ghosts hanging around what some say is a real-life haunted house in Metro Detroit. Haunted houses pop up all over the place this time of year for Halloween. But some say the Orson Star House in Royal Oak is haunted all year round. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury went ghost hunting with a paranormal investigator. Is there any way that you could tell us your name? Can you tell us how old you are? And that's how one of John Tenney's investigations begin. He's a paranormal researcher seen on popular TV shows. We met with him at the Orson Star House in Royal Oak. It's been called one of the most haunted homes in our area. When you're doing some kind of paranormal investigation, you always look for a house that has a good history, something that you can track back and find out facts and evidence about. The house was built in 1845 by a farmer and cowbell maker, Orson Star. Using recording devices and other technology, investigators have learned about several ghosts through EVPs, electronic voice phenomenon. Recording now. It is very intensely strange when you run a analog or digital recorder and you know you're the only person speaking and you hear a reply. We have kids upstairs that like to play. They do not do well with men, they do better with women. We have an older lady that sits around every once in a while, somebody spots her, we get a shot of her. Her name is Catherine from what we get from the EVPs. And we also have EVPs of a gentleman downstairs. He's a very angry little gentleman from what we understand. Candace Isaacson is on the Orson Star Homes Historical Society. She tells us the Star family lost three young children within a week in the home. We think that that's what's haunting the upstairs. We have people that claim they're touched. We have people that claim they've been pushed down the stairs. Candace says a visitor once kicked a ball down the stairs. The woman then immediately fell down the steps, claiming she was pushed, but no one was behind her. Could it have been one of the kids? They're just trying to seek out some type of communication between us, and I think that we can misinterpret that as evil or bad. We did a brief hunt using recording devices, but it seems the ghosts were pretty quiet during our visit. I get the question all the time, what's the most haunted place that I've ever been to? The, the true answer to that question is, if any place is haunted, the most haunted place in the whole world is the world. They're all around us, everywhere that we go. If you want to check out the Orson Star House, you can. They're hosting a ghost tour on the 22nd at 8 p.m. For more information on that, just go to our website at WXYZ.com. In Royal Oak, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News. All right, do you believe in ghosts? Some of the ghosts here at Broadcast House are pretty <laughs> scary, too. It's been around a long time. Oh,